Fake LEGO leaks have been on the rise, degrading the credibility of the LEGO community. At one point, the leak community was all about sharing the latest news and hyping up future releases, but now it's all about who can get their 15 minutes of fame. Now, everyone in the LEGO space is on edge since a lot of individuals lack integrity. Let's talk about the fake Uncharted rumor by Jay's Brick Blog. Who? Jay's Brick Blog? Never heard of him. The guy that Holly on film talked about. <laughs> Oh, that guy. The guy who has the website that looks like he made it on a free software? Yep. So, what happened to him? He decided to create a fake LEGO Uncharted set rumor. Jay literally made a fake Instagram account and contacted every leak account on Instagram. And, well, no one believed him. Until someone did. Let's introduce a new character to the story. Instagrammer Falcon Brick Studios. The only person that fell for Jay's scheme. Using his LEGO Ambassador Network credentials, he duped Falcon Brick Studios into posting the fake rumor. No one in the LEGO space picked up on the rumor because Falcon Brick Studios has no credibility in the leak space. But it only takes one person in media to cover something for it to spread like wildfire, and so it did. After Jay concluded his experiment, in a blog, he claimed this was for... Science. So, for science, you made a fake Instagram account, contacted everyone you could, got rejected by everyone but one guy. So, you're every wannabe leaker that knows nothing. The whole article is a joke. Jay states in the article that he has a few side journalistic projects that he works on. You know, writing a blog doesn't make you a journalist, it makes you a stay at home mom. Me being a Lego YouTuber doesn't make me a professional news reporter. Jay intentionally targeted decent sized Instagrammers for clout to spread his lies. The first big Lego site that shared this information around was Brick Fanatics. And to defend Brick Fanatics, the team usually does a thorough job with research into their rumors. Sites like comicbook.com, Screen Rant, Puss Square credited Brick Fanatics and Falcon Brick Studios for the latest rumor. Jay had no issue dragging Brick Fanatics and Falcon Brick Studios' name through the mud for science. Sounds like a scumbag to me. Jay just wanted relevancy. You know you're desperate for hype when you type in Jay's Brick blog on Google? The first thing that pops up is one of the largest Lego blogs on the web. Jay put that there. <laughs> I would be shocked if he got more than 10 views per post. The rich don't brag about having money. People who don't have money that are trying to fit in are the ones boasting about wealth. I have never seen someone in the Lego space boast about their size. Just picture if Just Do Good, MNR Productions, or Ash and Flash put that in their bios. They would be ridiculed and clowned, and no one would take them seriously. Fake leaks have been on the rise, and I believe people seeing others being platformed for being lying scumbags, others are following. Let's talk about Knights of Valor. February 5th, Eurobricks user Mr. No posted a list of a brand new mini doll theme. His friend who's a manager had revealed the upcoming sets to him, and he generously shared them on Eurobricks. While most of the community ignored this rumor, LEGO YouTubers Just Do Good and Brick Clicker covered the rumor, though they were both skeptical. Both have credibility in the LEGO space, which gave the rumor merit. Even though the leak community didn't cover this rumor, you put two respected names behind it, people start talking. Yeah, Knights of Valor was as fake as Nicki Minaj. User Mr. No was a troll and mocked the LEGO community. He is stated as saying, all my leaks were fake. Bye bye losers. Please ban me by the way losers. <laughs> I don't know why I find that kind of funny. Like Just Too Good mentioned in his video, this guy made over 500 posts just to be banned. This troll was playing the long game for a snippet of fame, and well, Mr. No, you got it. But wait, there's more. Recently, I've seen a rumor going around that we will be getting six new Legend of Zelda sets, and I'm here to reveal the answer. And well, here's the answer. I don't know. Time and time again, Zelda projects have achieved support on the Ideas platform. Now that LEGO has been working with Nintendo since 2020, and there's a demand of Legend of Zelda sets, there's no reason that Legend of Zelda can't happen. I think LEGO Legend of Zelda will happen. It's more of now when than an if. At the end of the day, there's no credibility to this rumor, but time will tell. Now let's pivot the direction of the video. Let's talk about who you can trust in the leak space. First up, let's talk about the most well-known leaker or who's credited for breaking the most news. Let's talk about 1414 Falcon Fan. Falcon Fan might be known as the biggest news Instagrammer who gained popularity thanks to YouTubers Just Too Good and Ash and Flash. And while Falcon Fan was the most reliable source years ago and broke a lot of rumors, his glory days are behind him. Falcon Fan hasn't broke a rumor in years now, but still gets credited for most of them, especially in the YouTube space. Falcon Fan is a reposter. 
not a leaker. If you engage enough in the community, you should know that. Though unlike most leakers or reposters, Falcon Fan has a code of conduct that he abides by. He abides by LEGO's rules, which is admirable, but in reality, people need to stop crediting him for other people's rumors. It might sound like I'm dragging Falcon Fan's name through the mud, but I'm not. Falcon Fan has always been very courteous and helpful to me. A lot of my issue lies with a lot of his recent posts. Every time a rumor turns out to be fake, he makes a post about it, implying that he knows information. And honestly, Falcon Fan knows nothing. He's a good reposter, but knows as little as you do. Now, let's talk about other leakers. Who can you trust? Promo Bricks might be known as the most reliable leakers in the LEGO space. For years, Promo Bricks has been the face of LEGO leaks, and their reputation speaks for themselves. It is quite clear that Promo Bricks has a person or multiple people working for the LEGO group leaking information to them. The hottest leaker on the seed right now is YouTuber BrickClicker. At first, I was skeptical about his credibility. I'll admit I called out BrickClicker early on, and well, he proved me wrong. Time and time again, BrickClicker keeps dropping credible leaks, though occasionally he's gotten things wrong, I would say he's about 98% right most of the time. YouTuber, blogger, and Instagrammer Jedi Jack Penguin is also a trustworthy source. His website catalogs LEGO news, and he first proved his credibility breaking the Stranger Things upside down rumor, where he faced a lot of backlash because no one believed him. He also broke the Boost Robot news. My frequent collaborator for breaking LEGO news is Van Island LEGO. Thanks to his information he's given to me, we've broken rumors on the Ghostbusters car, Camp No, and the Titanic. TNN Bricks, at least to me, is a new leaker in the space. They tend to hint at information, to my recollection. They are responsible for the first Daily Bugle news, and to this day, will give you tidbits of information without fully revealing everything. Last but not least is Greek Bricks. While I've heard mixed things about him, he's been proven right a decent amount of time though he has been wrong also a decent amount of times, like the recent Palpatine's arrest rumor. I think though Greek still provides a decent amount of credible information. At the end of the day, use discretion with LEGO rumors and be careful who you trust. But that's common sense. I don't need to tell you that. I'm Brother from Another Brick. You guys are awesome and well, see you next Sunday.